You know, today is uh, the big budget vote. Uh, this is a budget that, number one, was crafted in, in secret behind closed doors, three or four men in a room uh, coming up with an almost $140 billion budget. Uh, so uh, right from the get-go, before that budget even got to our desk, I was very skeptical uh, of whether I'd be able to support it. And uh, frankly, I can't support it. And let me give you a couple of reasons why. Uh, number one, uh, it, it supports, it funds uh, to the tune of $30 million Safe Act enforcement, including funding for the state police to enforce the Safe Act and uh, $27 million to build a database of lawful gun owners. Uh, so that's something I, I could never vote for. It also funds Obamacare, uh, another government made disaster. Uh, $30 million or so. Now, of course, the words Obamacare or Affordable Care Act or SAFE Act don't appear in the budget, so you really have to dig away, which speaks to the opaqueness. You know, let, let's say what we're funding here. Let's use the vernacular SAFE Act, Obamacare, so we know what we're funding. So that, that's something I'm not comfortable with. And there are billions and billions of dollars, about $7 billion with a B dollars worth of pork in here, whether it's uh, executive pork that the governor controls, and there are billions of dollars in that, or legislative pork. They don't call it pork. They call it bullet aid. So if you're in the majority in the Senate or the majority in the in the uh, assembly, uh, you get extra aid. You can give it to a library in your district. You can give it to a not-for-profit in your district. You give it to the schools in your district. So um, that is something that is that is wrong. Uh, we pretend like pork is gone uh, in, out of Albany, but that's certainly not the case. And we are funding to the tune of $300 million, uh, $340 million, universal pre-K. You look at the studies. Uh, it says that the impact of universal pre-K wears off by second or third grade. So it doesn't work. The studies say that, study after study. Our state, a great state, this town got bamboozled by a left-wing mayor, almost an accidental mayor of New York City into funding $340 million uh, worth of UPK, universal pre-K, $300 million for New York City, and the other half of the state gets $40 million. When I talk to my school officials or in the towns that I represent, the districts that I represent, they say, we can't even afford uh, half-day, full-day kindergarten. We might have to go from full-day back to half-day. Um, how are we going to have full-day kindergarten for four-year-olds when we don't even have pre-kindergarten for four-year-olds when we don't even have full-day kindergarten for five-year-olds. So uh, this, is, this is a bad budget. There's a couple good things in there. There is uh, uh, the tax wall, Cuomo's tax wall that divided upstate and downstate manufacturers was torn down. That's something we fought for for three months and that's a good victory. Uh, so, I'm, so I'm happy about that. Uh, but uh, to use an analogy that's appropriate for this weather today, the budget is a dark, dark cloud. There are a couple of glimmers of light in there, like tearing down the ta tax wall, but on balance, it's a bad budget. I'm voting no. Uh, so far, I've voted no on every budget bill, and I anticipate voting no on the rest.